The Bactria Margiana Archaeological Complex short BMAC, also known as the Oxus Civilization, is the modern archaeological designation for a Bronze Age civilization of Central Asia, dated to c. 2300-1700 BC, located in present-day northern Afghanistan, eastern Turkmenistan, southern Uzbekistan and western Tajikistan, centered on the upper Amu Darya Oxus River. Its sites were discovered and named by the Soviet archaeologist Viktor Sarianidi Bactria was the Greek name for the area of Bactra modern Balk, in what is now northern Afghanistan, and Margiana was the Greek name for the Persian satrapy of Margus, the capital of which was Merv, in modern-day southeastern Turkmenistan. Sarianidi's excavations from the late 1970s onward revealed numerous monumental structures in many sites, fortified by impressive walls and gates. Reports on the BMAC were mostly confined to Soviet journals until the last years of the Soviet Union, so the findings were largely unknown to the West until Sarianidi's work began to be translated in the 1990s. Origins There is archaeological evidence of settlement in the well-watered northern foothills of the Kopit Dag during the Neolithic period. This region is dotted with the multi-period hallmarks characteristic of the ancient Near East, similar to those southwest of the Kopit Dag in the Gorgon Plain in Iran. At Jaitun or Jaitun, mud brick houses were first occupied c. 6000 BC. The inhabitants were farmers who kept herds of goats and sheep and grew wheat and barley, with origins in southwest Asia. Jaitun has given its name to the whole Neolithic period in the northern foothills of the Kopit Dag. At the late Neolithic site of Chagaili Depa, farmers increasingly grew the kinds of crops that are typically associated with irrigation in an arid environment, such as hexaploid bread wheat, which became predominant during the Chalcolithic period. During the Copper Age, the population of this region grew. Archaeologist Vadim Mikhailovich Masson, who led the South Turkmenistan Complex Archaeological Expedition from 1946, sees signs that people migrated to the region from central Iran at this time, bringing metallurgy and other innovations, but thinks that the newcomers soon blended with the Zaytun farmers. Vadim was the son of archaeologist Mikhail Masson, who already started work in this same area previously. By contrast, a re excavation of Manjukli Depa in 2010 found a distinct break in settlement history between the late Neolithic and early Chalcolithic eras there. Major Chalcolithic settlements sprang up at Kara Depa and Namazga Depa. In addition, there were smaller settlements at Ana, Dashlaji, and Yasi Depa. Settlements similar to the early level at Ana also appeared further east in the ancient delta of the river Tedzin, the site of the Geoxor oasis. About 3500 BC, the cultural unity of the area split into two pottery styles, colorful in the west Ana, Kara Depa and, Namazga Depa and more austere in the east at Alton Depa and the Geoxor Oasis settlements. This may reflect the formation of two tribal groups. It seems that around 3000 BC, people from Geoxor migrated into the Murgab Delta where small, scattered settlements appeared and reached further east into the Zarafshan Valley in Transoxiana. In both areas pottery typical of Geoxor was in use. In Transoxiana they settled at Sarazim near Penjikant. To the south the foundation layers of Shar i Shokta on the bank of the Helmand River in southeastern Iran contained pottery of the Altan Depa and Geoxor type. Thus the farmers of Iran, Turkmenistan and Afghanistan were connected by a scattering of farming settlements. In the early Bronze Age the culture of the Kopit Dag Oasis and Altan Depa developed a proto-urban society. This corresponds to level 4 at Namazga Depa. Alton Depa was a major center even then. Pottery was wheel turned. Grapes were grown. The height of this urban development was reached in the Middle Bronze Age c. 2300 BC, corresponding to level 5 at Namazga Depa. It is this Bronze Age culture which has been given the BMAC name. Topic material culture Topic Agriculture and economy The inhabitants of the BMAC were sedentary people who practiced irrigation farming of wheat and barley. With their impressive material culture including monumental architecture, bronze tools, ceramics, and jewelry of semi-precious stones, the complex exhibits many of the hallmarks of civilization. The complex can be compared to proto-urban settlements in the Helmand Basin at Mundigak in western Afghanistan and Shar-e-Sukta in eastern Iran, or at Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro in the Indus Valley, models of two-wheeled carts from c. 
3000 BC found at Alton Depa are the earliest complete evidence of wheeled transport in Central Asia, though model wheels have come from contexts possibly somewhat earlier. Judging by the type of harness, carts were initially pulled by oxen, or a bull. However camels were domesticated within the BMAC. A model of a cart drawn by a camel of c. 2200 BC was found at Alton Depa. Topic architecture Sarianidi regards Ganor as the capital of the complex in Margiana throughout the Bronze Age. The Palace of North Ganor measures 150 meters by 140 meters, the temple at Togolak 140 meters by 100 meters, the fort at Keleli 3125 meters by 125 meters, and the house of a local ruler at Ajikui 25 meters by 25 meters. Each of these formidable structures has been extensively excavated. While they all have impressive fortification walls, gates, and buttresses, it is not always clear why one structure is identified as a temple and another as a palace. Mallory points out that the BMAC fortified settlements such as Ganor and Togolok resemble the Kila, the type of fort known in this region in the historical period. They may be circular or rectangular and have up to three encircling walls. Within the forts are residential quarters, workshops and temples. The people of the BMAC culture were very proficient at working in a variety of metals including bronze, copper, silver, and gold. This is attested through the many metal artifacts found throughout the sites. Extensive irrigation systems have been discovered at the Geoxor Oasis. Topic writing the discovery of a single tiny stone seal known as the Ana seal with geometric markings from the BMAC site at Ana in Turkmenistan in 2000 led some to claim that the Bactria Margiana complex had also developed writing and thus may indeed be considered a literate civilization it bears five markings which are similar to chinese small seal characters the only match to the Ana seal is a small jet seal of almost identical shape from Nia near modern Minfeng along the southern Silk Road in Xinjiang, assumed to be from the Western Han Dynasty. Topic interactions with other cultures BMAC materials have been found in the Indus Valley Civilization, on the Iranian Plateau, and in the Persian Gulf. Finds within BMAC sites provide further evidence of trade and cultural contacts. They include an Elamite-type cylinder seal and a Harappan seal stamped with an elephant and Indus script found at Ganor Depa. The relationship between Alton Depa and the Indus Valley seems to have been particularly strong. Among the finds there were two Harappan seals and ivory objects. The Harappan settlement of Shortugai in northern Afghanistan on the banks of the Amu Darya probably served as a trading station. There is evidence of sustained contact between the BMAC and the Eurasian steppes to the north, intensifying C. 2000 BC. In the delta of the Amu Darya where it reaches the Aral Sea, its waters were channeled for irrigation agriculture by people whose remains resemble those of the nomads of the Andronovo culture. This is interpreted as nomads settling down to agriculture, after contact with the BMAC, known as the Tasabagyab culture. About 1800 BC, the walled BMAC centers decreased sharply in size. Each oasis developed its own types of pottery and other objects. Also pottery of the Tasabagyab Andronovo culture to the north appeared widely in the Bactrian and Margian countryside. Many BMAC strongholds continued to be occupied and Tasabagyab Andronovo coarse incised pottery occurs within them along with the previous BMAC pottery as well as in pastoral camps outside the mudbrick walls. In the highlands above the Bactrian oases in Tajikistan, Kurgan cemeteries of the Vash and Bishkent type appeared with pottery that mixed elements of the late BMAC and Tasabagyab Andronovo traditions. In southern Bactrian sites like Sapali Tepa II, increasing links with the Andronovo culture are seen. During the period 1700 1500 BCE, metal artifacts from Sapali Tepa derive from the Tasabagyab Andronovo culture. Relationship with Indo-Iranians The Bactria Margiana complex has attracted attention as a candidate for those looking for the material counterparts to the Indo-Iranians a major linguistic branch that split off from the Proto-Indo-Europeans. Sarianidi himself advocates identifying the complex as Indo-Iranian, describing it as the result of a migration from southwestern Iran. Bactria Margiana material has been found at Susa, Shaddad, and Tepa Yahya in Iran, but Lamberg Karlovsky does not see this as evidence that the complex originated in southeastern Iran. 
The limited materials of this complex are intrusive in each of the sites on the Iranian plateau as they are in sites of the Arabian Peninsula. A significant section of the archaeologists are more inclined to see the culture as begun by farmers in the Near Eastern Neolithic tradition, but infiltrated by Indo Iranian speakers from the Andronovo culture in its late phase, creating a hybrid. In this perspective, Proto Indo Aryan developed within the composite culture before moving south into the Indian subcontinent. As James P. Mallory phrased it, It has become increasingly clear that if one wishes to argue for Indo-Iranian migrations from the steppe lands south into the historical seats of the Iranians and Indo-Aryans that these steppe cultures were transformed as they passed through a membrane of Central Asian urbanism. The fact that typical steppe wares are found on BMAC sites and that intrusive BMAC material is subsequently found further to the south in Iran, Afghanistan, Nepal, India and Pakistan, may suggest then the subsequent movement of Indo-Iranian speakers after they had adopted the culture of the BMAC. <inaudible> <inaudible> Evidence for a BMAC substratum in Indo-Iranian? As argued by Michael Witzel and Alexander Lobotsky, there is a proposed substratum in Proto-Indo-Iranian which can be plausibly identified with the original language of the BMAC. Moreover, Lobotsky points out a larger number of words apparently borrowed from the same language, which are only attested in Indo-Aryan and therefore evidence of a substratum in Vedic Sanskrit. Some BMAC words have now also been found in Tocharian. Michael Witzel points out that the borrowed vocabulary includes words from agriculture, village and town life, flora and fauna, ritual and religion, so providing evidence for the acculturation of Indo-Iranian speakers into the world of urban civilization. <laughs> Genetics There's no proof of what the population of the BMAC origin put they were mostly Iranian farmers from the Neolithic era and Neolithic Iranian were mostly Eurasia hunter-gatherer origin. Sites In Afghanistan Dashli, Jauzhan province Kush Tepa in Turkmenistan Altindi Ganur Tepa Zaytun Namazga Tepa Togolok 21 in Uzbekistan Ayaz Kala Jarkutan Khoi Krylgan Kala Sapali Tepa Toprak Kala Topic. See also Andronovo culture Yaz culture Topic. References Topic. Sources Topic. Further reading Edwin Bryant 2001. The Quest for the Origins of Vedic Culture, The Indo-Aryan Migration Debate. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-516947-6. CNRS, L'Archéologie de la Bactriane Ancienne, Actes du Colloque Franco-Soviétique en degree 20. Paris, Editions du Centre National de la Recherche Scientifique, 1985, ISBN 2-222-03514-7 Thusman, G., et al., 2005. Arias, Arens et Iraniens en AC Centrale, Paris, de Bockard. ISBN 2-86803-072-6. Lobotsky, A. 2001. Indo-Iranian Substratum. PDF, in Karpelin, Christian. Early Contacts Between Uralic and Indo-European. Helsinki, Suomalai Ugerlinen Sura. ISBN 952-5150-59-3. Archived from the original PDF on the 11th of April 2008. Sarianidi, V. I. Preface. In Hebert, F. T. Origins of the Bronze Age Oasis Civilization of Central Asia. Cambridge, Harvard University Press. ISBN 0 87365 545 1. Sarianidi, V. I. Soviet Excavations in Bactria, the Bronze Age. In Ligabue, G., Salvatore, S. Bactria, an ancient oasis civilization from the sands of Afghanistan. 
Venice, Arezzo. ISBN 88 7077 025 7. Foris, L. Oppam Napit, Durga Thomas and Construction of the Brick Altar. Analysis of RV 1. 143 in the homepage of Laszlo Foris. Topic. External links Black Sands, a documentary about the Ganor Tepa archaeological site Sarianidi archaeological expedition at Ganor Tepa archaeological site